In the earlier videos, we have seen how a parent component can pass down props to its children components. Any data in the parent component when passed as props is available in the children components. Now what if a child component wanted to communicate with the parent component? Strangely, we still use props. But this time, we pass in a reference to a method as props to the child component. I am going to create a new file called parentcomponent.js. Within the file, I will use the React snippet RCE to create a class component. Let me remove the named export and in the component, I will add a constructor with the snippet rconst. Within the constructor, we set a state called parent name with the value parent. Next, I'm going to define a method greet parent which simply alerts hello followed by the parent name which is set in the state. So hello concatenated with this dot state dot parent name. Now this is fine but since we are using ES6 I would like to use template literals. So instead of the regular concatenation we are going to have backticks which is the key right below your escape key and within backticks hello followed by the dollar sign and curly braces and within the curly braces this dot state dot parent name. Now please understand backticks and dollar curly braces is a feature in ES6 and is not a feature specific to react. If you're new to template literals Please take a 5 minute pause, read about it and resume the video. Also, since we are using this keyword in the method, we need to bind this method. So in the constructor, this dot greet parent is equal to this dot greet parent dot bind this. And I'm going to format the code. I am going to leave the JSX empty for now and get back to it in a minute. Next, I will create another file called childcomponent.js. Within the file, I will use the React snippet RFCE to create a functional component. We don't make use of state in this component and that is the reason I am sticking to the more simpler functional component. In the JSX, I will add a button that says greet parent. Now back in the parent component, I will include the child component in the render method. Make sure to import the child component at the top. Next, in app component, I will include the parent component in the render method. Parent component. Again, make sure to import the component at the top. Now, if I save all the files and take a look at the browser, you should be able to see the button greet parent. If I click on the button though, nothing happens right now. But what I want is when we click on the button in the child component, I want to execute the method defined in the parent component. Basically, the child component calls a parent component's method. And as I mentioned already, this is achieved using props. The only difference this time is we pass the method itself as a prop to the child component. So I'm going to go back to VS Code and in parent component JSX, we add an attribute to the child component. Let's call the attribute greet handler. And to this, we assign the greet parent method. So this is going to be equal to this dot greet parent. Again, make sure you don't add the parentheses. 
we are passing a reference to the greet parent method as a prop called greet handler. We can now grab hold of this reference in our child component. In the child component, on click of this button, we simply call props.greetHandler. So on click in camel case is going to be equal to curly braces and within the curly braces, props.greetHandler. Make sure to add props as a parameter. Let's save the files and see if this works. I'm going to go back to the browser, click on the button and you can see the alert, hello parent. So, we have successfully called a method in the parent component from a button in the child component by passing the method as props to the child component. This is something you're going to do quite often in your projects, so please do make a note of it. Now, let's see how to pass a parameter when calling the parent method from the child component. And this is where an arrow function in the return statement is really useful. Arrow function syntax is the simplest way to pass parameters from the child component to the parent component. So let me convert the onclick handler into an arrow function. Parentheses, fat arrow syntax, props.greetHandler, but this time with the parentheses. Now we can pass in any number of parameters to the greet handler. To keep it simple, let's pass one parameter, which is the string child. Next, let's incorporate this parameter in the greet parent method. So back in parent component, in greet parent method, we are going to receive a parameter child name. And now in the alert statement, we can have hello this dot state dot parent name from dollar curly braces child name. If we save the files, go to the browser and click on the greet parent button, you should see the alert hello parent from child. We have successfully passed a parameter from the child to the parent. So this is pretty much how you pass methods as props in React components. In the parent component, define the method. On the child component tag, pass the method as a prop. In the child component, access the method using the props object. If at all you have to pass a parameter, use the arrow function syntax. By the way, you can destructure the props object in this functional component, but since we have just this one prop, I'm going to leave it as it is. Now, if you're keen on event handling with form data, we will talk about that later on in the series when we deal with form handling. But for now, this is pretty much it about event handling in React. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video.